Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what you see on my screen is what we are going to create. So if this is something you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started in today's design, there are two things I want to speak to you about. The first one is Canva Pro. So if you're looking at um, doing more with Canva, for example, when it comes to removing your background images in Canva, when it comes to working with multiple brand kits, you know, of your clients in Canva, when it comes to, you know, publishing your designs from Canva to any social media platforms, and also when it comes to resizing your design to any dimension of your choice with a click, Canva Pro helps you to do that. So if you want to try Canva, proof for free for 30 days i have a special link in the description box below that can help you do that the second thing i want to speak to you about is the assorted canva templates i created for you so if you are looking to um, create posters but don't know how to these templates are very easy to customize you can change the colors you can change the font anything about it can be customized according to your preference so if this is something you are looking at to save you time when it comes to editing then i must say that i have the link in the description box below that can help you get them at a very mind-blowing price okay so check it out and um, let me hear from you after you get your copy so without any much i do let's dive into canva and let's get started with today's design so here is the design we are going to create and this is very easy and very simple the first thing i'm going to do is to click on the plus icon for a new page and the background color i used in the original design is um let me just check it quickly for you so it's eight two zero 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 okay so that's the color code for the background then what you have to do next is to come into photos in photos just search for african okay african texture that's all you have to search for so there are so many interesting ones you will see over here but i think um let me go into my recently used images and i'm sure i'll be able to find what i use in this particular um design because you know i don't want you to struggle in terms of finding it. so this is the one i use so just search for african pattern instead okay so i will just you know select it and um here we have it then i right click and replace the background so this is what we have at the moment so what you have to do next is click on the image come to edit image okay and you just select adjust so in adjust we are going to reduce the brightness okay to negative 10 improve the contrast to 14 the saturation to 12 and the blurriness just you know to negative 7 so this is how it's going to look so i will just you know position it well over here and this is what we have at the moment then i come to transparency and in transparency we are going to reduce our transparency to somewhere like 36 so this is what we have at the moment and you can see that's what we have been able to create so the next thing you have to do is to come into element and in element search for 3d text okay 3d text and um press enter okay so you find it then come to graphics in graphic there are so many ones you would see so to find the exact ones i used here let me still go into my recently used okay so that i can find the um exact ones i use so that you know it would be easier to give you the keywords to type in the search box okay so to find these texts what you have to do is you have to search for word 3d text style okay so once you search for that you find it let's try it and see let me just come here and search for word you know 3d text style so you can see you are able to find all of that so what you'd have to do now is you'd have to come up with a word you would want to create with these letters so i went for banquet so you can also go in for any word at all of your choice okay so coming back i will just you know scroll down here and um, i can just maybe come up with a word so i can so i can say wake up call okay so Maybe what I can do here is I'll put two, you know, quotation marks here and I can say W, okay? So that we can get the W, okay? So I select it, you know, it's now here. Then I can come here and say A, okay? So that I can get an A. So this is the A. So you get what I'm trying to do. So now we have the magic recommendation that will help us find everything easily. So now the K is here and I should find the E also here and um u p okay then c a oh, where's the a 
oh my gosh okay so maybe i'll click on this again and i might find the a okay so a and the l okay so now i will just select everything and reduce the size okay then bring it here so maybe the l should come here and um, i'll duplicate it because c a l l so my a will come here then i'll increase the size you know then my c also would come here and i'll increase the size of the c to something like this so i will select all okay and position it here okay so then i come here the up should also be here okay and i'll bring it down here then let me just spell the week so w a k e so e k w no e k a w okay so that's what i am also going to do over here okay so that's how you can just you know arrange everything nicely but i'm not done with the arrangement and um just to also make sure we are not spending so much time in the arrangement what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip the whole process of me trying to arrange my text okay okay so this is what we have at the moment and you can see it's looking very interesting so what i'm going to do next is i would now come to um you know one of this and come to edit image in edit image we are going to adjust again then in adjust we just reduce the brightness increase the contrast and increase the saturation so that this is what we have then all you have to do is to copy this filter code over here then select the a paste the filter code here select the k paste the filter code here select the e you know so this is the same thing we are going to do so i'll skip the process of me doing all of this okay so yeah so you can see how all of this is looking okay so now i would want to add a shadow so i click on this come to edit image and i will just search for shadow okay so shadow and i will click on the drop shadow over here because that's the one i would like to use on this particular text so you can see it has reset the um, effect we added but don't worry we'll re-add it again okay so i'll increase this to three and the blurriness to nine transparency i want to be able to see it okay so i'll increase the transparency okay so it means 3838 8. okay so we are going to do this for all so i add the drop down shadow for this and it should be able to add and i'm going to skip the whole process of this one too okay <laughs> Okay, so now that everything has been reset in terms of the whole um, color adjustment we made to it, we will just redo it again. So I would click on this, okay, then I come to edit image. In edit image, I just close this up and search for adjust, okay. So what I did was I reduced the brightness, I increased the contrast and the saturation, okay. And um, just come back and copy the filter code, select this, paste the filter code here, okay. So we are just going to do the same for all okay so this is what we have at the moment and what we are going to do we are going to add all the additional stuff we added okay so we have this text over here but first of all we'll just add the shadow so i click on element and i search for arrow okay so in arrow we are just coming here to find an interesting arrow so you can choose this one come to flip flip horizontally okay or you can choose any of the options at all you want but in my case i'm just going to use this particular one all right so let me zoom in and i will send this one behind the c come and change the color over here to white okay so then i press t on my keyboard for extra text position it here and make it bigger okay then what i can just say is you know anything at all you want to say so okay so this is all i just want to say i will come you know to the text 
formatting area and i will just reduce you know this one and maybe let me just tuck it in okay so something like this is cool then we would increase the size okay so something sweet something nice something very simple and i'll reduce the line spacing more so this is what we have over here and let's look at how things are over here okay so we did something special or oh, i did something special to this particular text and what i'm going to do is i'll duplicate it first of all okay and i'll come here to effect in effect i'll come to neon okay so that it looks this way come over here to the colors and change the color you know to any of the colors you have over here and i'll place this on top but i'll send it behind so that we have some cool glow you know on our text so you can see how it's all looking so yeah i would send this up a little bit and now we just have to create this loading thing over here okay so what we are going to do is we are going to um come here into our shapes okay so i would select my shape then i will select this rounded corner shape okay so then i will just scroll down make sure you change the font size over here to one okay so yeah that's what you have to do then click on c or in c or what we have to do is to search for an outlined um shape okay that is also rounded corners okay so this is it and you can see how it's also looking very easy very simple and very elegant okay so position this here and reduce the size of this just so it fits all of this nicely then stretch it out select you know the one inside and also stretch it out okay then i'll just select both of them and reduce their sizes okay but you can see the one inside is now looking you know it's just looking too kept so what we'll do is we'll click on border style and with the corner round lane you know make sure you increase the size no you reduce the size instead you understand so that um it doesn't look too um odd okay i don't know why i keep double clicking okay so we stretch this out and we we'll also stretch this to any level you want so this is how it's going to look like and select or reduce the size you know bring it somewhere here and maybe i'll increase the size more okay so that is something you can do then we change both colors to white okay because white will help it stand out okay so this is what we have at the moment and i think with this one we do not have the option to make it thicker so we we'll just have to um, leave it that way okay so maybe i'll just put it somewhere here select my text and i can just say load in. okay with three full stops at the end okay then reduce the size and bring it somewhere here and you know bring it somewhere here so this is what we have at the moment i'll select all of this and i would you know center it nicely okay so now what we have to do is to add this shape over here and it's still the rounded corner i added so maybe i can just select it from here okay so choose it reduce the size let me zoom in more i like to zoom in on my text or on my shapes or anything i'm working on so that i can you know do everything in details okay yeah so you know why we are not able to reduce the size more is just because of the size of the text okay okay so what you just have to do is reduce it more okay uh -huh, nicely then change the color to white okay then all you have to do is to duplicate it and you change this one okay to a different color then send it behind it okay then all we are just going to do is is to click on it and um, you know just make sure it's extruding just a little bit so this is what we have so to save time i'll just come here okay and i'll choose everything i have over here so i'll just select it come here paste it here okay i'll just do this for all okay so i would copy and i will paste this one also over here okay then i select the two and position it here and i'll duplicate it position it here duplicate it position it here duplicate it again and position it here okay then increase the size then i would center all the text 
okay so i select everything and center the text okay okay so then i'll reduce the size more okay then come to position and you know just keep it simple okay then we'll do this for, for this one too all right so this is something we have been able to create and then we are not done yet okay so we are just left with one more thing to um to do so i think we'd rather have to keep these ones close okay because it's not giving us the option to really um close this up okay so we'll just keep it simple you know something like this and keep this one also simple something like this also something like this then select all of it then we center it over here all right then we are going to add this gradient shape we have this and we are going to add this gradient um, element so i'll just copy but you can find it from elements.theafricangeeks.com okay so just go there and find it so i would unlock it and copy and paste it here okay then i'll right click and send it to the back then i will duplicate it okay then you know just rotate it 180 and position it at the top here so then i send this one also to the back then come to element in element search for light okay so when you search for light you see this kind of light i used okay so um yeah you can see i have this light over here so just rotate it this way position it here duplicate it okay then i will just rotate it like this and bring it to the corner over here okay this is what we have select all or if you want to see if they are both rotated nicely when you select the two it's supposed to create you know a nice diamond shape over here but you can see it's not doing that so maybe i can select this and i can you know then i maybe select this one and rotate it small okay i think it's duplicated okay so select select this and it's still not doing the same so i would rotate this something like this position it here okay so this is better now and i'll send this one to the corner okay so i think this is way better so select the two and duplicate it okay then i would rotate it to 180 and move it to the top so this is what we have at the moment but the last thing we are going to do is to add some extra lights okay so you can choose any of the lights you can choose you know maybe this one position somewhere select this one you know just at this point you just have to spread them across so that's just all about oh look at what i'm doing <laughs> okay so that is all about it and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial so yes um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i know this tutorial is much longer than my usual tutorials but i just hope at the end of the day you were able to pick some few tips and tricks from this particular um video the name is benjamin and don't forget there are so 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 many canva tutorials i have on my channel so um check it out you can also like this video hit on the subscribe button hit on the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my future videos always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video